Okay, we'll come to the last part of this chapter, which is uh, circuit theorems. And here we're talking about the maximum power transfer. In fact, this maximum power transfer is a very important aspect, and it depends on both of the previous uh, uh, theorems. And uh, it is very beneficial since if we understand it, we could design the circuits to generate the maximum power, which is increasing the, the efficiency of our circuits. So the maximum power transfer theorems, it is exactly, uh, it is very similar to the one that we've seen it in the uh, DC circuits. So if you recall, uh, in resistive circuits, maximum power uh, is transferred from a given source to load if RL is equal to RS, or sometimes we call it uh, r theffernan So if we have the r theffernan here, and this is the v theffernan the maximum load, uh, the maximum power is transferred to the load if RL is equal to RS or r theffernan Now, we're talking about uh, AC circuits, so we're moving to complex numbers, and we do not have any more the RS. Instead, we have the uh, impedance instead of resistance. Now, uh, once we have that impedance, uh, the maximum uh, power is transferred uh, to the load if the real part is the same if the real part was the same but so rs equal to rl but the com the imaginary part was exactly the opposite so if it was cancelling each other so if this is was positive this would become negative in that case the imaginary part will be cancelled and only R's will be exactly the same. In this scenario, what we call it is a complex conjugate. So if we do have two numbers and the imaginary part are an opposite sign, then we can call this as a complex conjugate, as we can see here. So R minus JXC is a conjugate of R plus JXL if XC is equal to XL. So, in this case, the power will be equal to the maximum. So, if somebody uh, gives you a circuit and you could uh, calculate the V theffernan for that circuit, then uh, simply finding out the conjugate of that Z theffernan will give you the maximum, uh, will give you the impedance at which the maximum power will be transferred to the load. And it will be exactly the same as the Norton uh, case, since the Norton impedance will be exactly equal to the Thevenin impedance. So I'm not giving you here an example, but you can refer back to the textbook where is, uh, there is a very lengthy example given of a, that you can go through it. Thank you for listening, and this is uh, the end of this chapter. Uh, please write down any questions if you do have, and uh, send it to me uh, via any of these communication means that we have set it up with you. Uh, so thank you so much, and uh, let's uh, see you in the next lecture.